Hey Aquarius, how you doing? I hope all is well with you. Thank you so much for clicking on the video, Aquarius. I truly, truly appreciate you. My name is Michelle, and we're going to get into an overall energy for March. Okay? So we're going to use the Wild Unknown um, Animal Spirit deck for you. And this is going to be a short and quick reading regarding the overall energy. Now, this is one of the decks that I have on eBay that I, I have never really used, okay? Um, but we're going to use these cards for you because that's what my spirit guides put on my heart. It's a short and sweet message. If you're interested in an extension for this reading, you can find the information below, all right? So let's see. For all Aquarius placements, Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, what is the message for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, north node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus in March. What does the collective of Aquarius need to know? Now, Aquarius, you can have Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini significantly in your chart. You may not. Roles could be reversed, flip flop, transposed. Only take the message as it resonates and as it applies. Please use your discernment when viewing these videos. Um, the energy could be picking up someone in your auric sphere, something you heard about or read about, okay? So again, use your intuition. Now, these are never, ever, ever gender specific. And all are welcome here, including the cross watches. <laughs> Let's see. What do we get? We get the black golden egg. Period. Okay. Now, I don't know much about this that I do have the book here. We're going to read it. But I know that that circular energy there is spirit all day long. So let's see what we get. Okay. We have the lion at the bottom of the deck. We'll keep it right here just to remind us this is that um, earthly energy. Okay. No, it is fire. I'm sorry. It's fire energy. So let's see. Let's find this uh, beautiful spiritual card here coming out for my beautiful Aquarius. Yes, it is. All right. Let's see. Yes. The black egg speaking from an authentic voice and speaking the truth. Super important for you, Aquarius. That's what this is talking about. All right. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures, the truth. Inside of each resides no confusion. No excuse, excuses, no small talk, no noise or lies, not even little white lies. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. So when this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, and perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in. Books draw us in. The, ex the concept of truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, hmm, what do I know to be true about myself? And what do I know to be true about this world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsured place. We say things like, what others want to hear, or, you know, we get into gossip, or we start repeating stories we hear in the streets and stuff like that to justify our subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all, but the energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect with it. Wow, this is deep Aquarius, okay? <laughs> we got two pages going on. <laughs> All right. All right. Spirit ain't playing. Okay. It is available at every moment and in every situation, this, this egg that is hoovering over us. It's the epicenter of truth and the birthplace of your own voice. Now, the black egg is um, connected to the fifth chakra. The fifth chakra is the throat um, chakra energy. Okay, Aquarius. The subtle essence of this card resides at the base of the throat, at the Vijudaha, Vijudaha uh, chakra. The ancient sages saw this center as the hub that governs our speech and expression. Vij, Vijudaha translates as especially pure. That's what that means. The balance of this center is important for all of us but is especially essential for writers 
editors, magicians, and teachers. So some of you could be, um, that could be those energies there, could be your where your purpose lies, something about writers, um, editors, musicians, you know, teachers, um, public speakers. It says reading, so readers, um, you know, singers, teachers, or anything that has to do with the voice, basically, Aquarius. The lion, patient, regal. A complete master. Ooh, we. The lion is the master of the fire element and the living mascot of the self transformation. A lion personality dictates their life to personal and spiritual, dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth, hence the egg. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all, but known intimately by few. Interesting. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like how they describe the king of swords, right? Um, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant. They are stealth and precise in their words and their actions. They do not waste energy or resources. This card reminds us that self-mastery is available to all, no matter where our quest begins. When this is in the upright, it's the epitome of peace and stress. So if we ever feel ourselves um, not in this energy, but feeling the opposite, let me read that. It's called out of balance. If we ever feel out of balance in March, Aquarius, kind of withdrawn and a little too serious, spirit is asking us to do a daily meditation. Okay. So do daily meditation for yourself and, um, you know, reach out to friends and, um, somebody who has that strength, somebody who has, you know, the ability to talk to you without judging you and things like that, like you're heard. Okay. Aquarius, but this is what we have here. Wow. And it's all about you, Aquarius. This ain't about nobody else. Some of you, you may have fire in your chart. You may have gotten some, you know, hard wake-up calls or experiences from those in the past who had um, Leo in their chart. I mean, Leo is the opposite sign of Aquarius, okay? Which is dope right there, right? Because the opposite sign literally challenges us, okay, to be in a position of truth and, you know, um, the epitome of truth and, and have a clear throat chakra, not sugarcoating things, but not intimidating anyone either, because the lion is not an intimidator. The lion is a, um, the energy of just, uh, you know, authenticity, okay, um, and working hard, okay? Yeah, so the lion is, um, you know, patience and um, a complete self-mastery. That's what I was trying to think of. So let's see. What are these cards talking about for Aquarius in this reading? Clear and accurate messages. Now, some of you may have a Scorpio moon. I'm looking at the Scorpio card. I didn't read it. I'm not going to. But, you know, this is transformation. Scorpio goes into the dark, right? It's about the underworld. It's about the what's beneath the surface. It's about digging inward. It's, it's the detective is what I like to call Scorpio energy. But some of you may have a Scorpio moon is what I'm seeing here. Maybe a Scorpio Jupiter um, maybe a Scorpio um, Venus rising, okay? But Scorpio, more importantly, Pluto is going to be entering our charts, real, our zodiac sign, real soon. And it's going to be there for a very long time. So I kind of feel this energy here where Spirit is trying to get you to do the self-mastery so that you could be prepared, okay? As all of the readings have been talking about here spiritually lately, all right? Uh, um, there's something about learning to be with your tribe, those who support you and not, um, and not, you know, do the negative stuff to you. Lines have to be drawn. Boundaries have to be set. Because if the lion is the epitome of peace and strength, um, courage, willpower, and, and things like that, having people around you who disturb your peace or people around you who, you know, just energetically, we can't help it, right? Our auric sphere is only, you know, I don't know if y'all you know, ever read up or know about the auric sphere. It's like, it goes out six feet, I believe. The closer the people are, 
with their energy towards you, the more it sticks on you. And energy is contagious. Okay? That's why I felt... Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. You can look it up. Auric um, Spear. There's something about that. You can see. You see the beaming? You see it? This is the Auric Spear of your spiritual energy. Here too. You see? Okay? And there's something about you being able to weather this because you have self-mastery. That's what I'm getting, okay? And it's courageous, it's, um, that kind of stuff. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, see? Spirit wants you to be in a peaceful, loving space. This is the universe, okay? And this is the universe showing you whatever cracks are in the foundation, all right? You're supposed to be walking in truth and love and peace. Let's see. Queen of Wands, fire energy. Four of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yeah. You know, you have the self-mastery. You are bold. You are courageous. You are, um, you know, lucky. You are spiritual. Okay. So I feel this energy here that this is the lion. The thing is, Spirit is having you get prepared. There's something that you're stocking up on. There's something that you're like this energy, time, healthiness, preparedness. You see the four sticks down here? This is preparing a foundation, okay? It's like having a nest egg. It's preparedness with the squirrel. That's what I always um, relate that squirrel energy to, okay? It's like you're building a nest egg. You're preserving, you're putting something up for a later day. And I kind of feel if you have been held back, Spirit is asking you to begin to move forward. Some of you, you've been sitting on something. It could be knowledge, money, time, energy. You've been sitting on something. You may have been protecting your energy from others, but... You've been doing some type of self-mastery and it's time for you to bring what you've learned out into the public. Remember it said public speaking, reading, writings, um, musicians, writers. There's something that you're being prepared for and it's going to, you know, the, the chariot been coming out a lot lately for you, Aquarius. We're going to get more. We're definitely going to get some um, clarity. Okay, let's see. Why is this black egg here? Holy Spirit for Aquarius. Six of Cups. Um, so this is about your past. Okay, something that makes you happy. Kindred spirits, people from the past, your tribe. Okay, Six of Cups is also sweet kind of people. Childlike energy. Happiness. Yes, your truth, your inner child. These could be like best friends, people you've known for a long time, something like that. Eight of Cups. Wow. Ace of Wands. You're going to be building something? You're leaving behind people that no longer serve you, okay? You're wanting more. Six of Cups to the Eight of Cups. The thing is, is that you're running into soulmates. You're running into those who are um, also aligned. You're running into kindred spirits. This keeps coming out for the collective energy in Aquarius. There's something about um, this spiritual journey that you're on, Aquarius, is, and it's bringing you in people who literally resonate with you, those who can create with you, those... It's like you're going to be on a new path, a new journey, okay? You're wanting more, you're manifesting more, and you're literally getting it. Let's see what else is coming out here. The Five of Cups wants to show itself again, so let's see. What's 
going on here. Yeah, you are courageously building something that's going to last for a long time. And you're literally going to be getting this equal reciprocity when it comes to your time, your money, and energy. Anything outside of that, you're literally being pushed away or moved away. You're getting this forward movement, especially when it comes to your business, okay, your empire, your kingdom, your queendom. But there's a lingering six of pentacles here. So it's almost as though you're being freed. A spirit God source is giving you the gift of strength, courage, resilience, um, truth, integrity, all of these magnetic energies that's literally going to help you sustain long-term stability, security, and partnerships. Romantic or non-romantic, anything that allows this lioness or lion energy to be tipsy-turvy, to make you feel like you want to be withdrawn, that makes you want to feel as though you want to be, um, you know, in a too serious energy or anyone who, who changes your mood around, you're moving away from it is what I'm seeing. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. You've been waiting. You may have been on pause. You may have been literally going through this self-mastery and it's time for you to begin to move forward. I mean, you are manifesting. Okay. The three of wands waits for the four of wands to show up. Well, the Ace of Wands is right here. Ace and the Three is Four of Wands. You're going to be having the stability, um, something to celebrate, a firm foundation. And it, again, I feel that this has a lot to do with your creativity. Some of you, you've been building. Again, you've been working hard to build, to preserve, to um, align with this foundation that you've been protecting. It's coming, okay? It is literally coming. Your ships are coming in. Three of Wands. Yes. Okay. You're leaving things behind and you are being rebirthed into your own truth with the Scorpio energy. We have Scorpio right here. There's some things that's going on beneath the surface within you. And it may be, I want to say it's boiling up within you. It's, um, there's this rebirth that's happening internally and you're going to allow spirit God source to move you forward. Spirit is moving you forward. Chariot. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Yeah. See, there's a complete ending to anything that does not serve you, Aquarius. You've been through a lot. Ten of Swords talks about, um, you know, a complete done. I'm done with this. I'm done with that. It's different for all of you. So please, okay, use your discernment regarding what this ending is, okay? I feel that it's people, places, and things that are not serving you, all right? You're moving more into this energy. You're not, you're not even, it's like, yeah, you're walking through a a new portal here. And this new portal has great achievement attached to it, okay? Because it's like these spiritual um, or aligned soulmates, groups, kindred spirits. I mean, your soul family, your soul tribe, people that you can be with for a long time, people who also want more, people who are also creatives, people who are writers, teachers, musicians, people who are who have something in common. You're literally walking into a new world. There's also this energy that you've been being prepared for the new world order that is happening out here, the spiritual society, okay? Maybe you're going to be teaching in it. Maybe you're going to be writing. Maybe you're going to be creating music or maybe you're going to be using some other um, instrument. You know what else that I'm getting? Your instrument is your voice. Before you may not have said anything, you had people who were... Um, taking advantage of you in some shape, form, or fashion, waiting for them to get on board with you and things like that, that is over. You're succeeding in a beautiful, beautiful way. The world card talks about um, excelling, great achievement, okay? What else is going on here? Because we have the Eight of Cups. You're walking away, okay? Yes, you are determining who's for you and who isn't people who are more compromising, people who speak the truth, people who do the things, do the right things for the right reasons, people who match your energy are coming in towards you here, Aquarius, is what I see. Yes, you're going to have this great following. You're going to be with people who align with you, not people who attack or compete with you, 
people who are literally on the same page. You're walking with winners. You're walking with angels. You're walking with earth angels. We're walking with people who resonate with your spirit, your soul. And it's beautiful energy. I'm going to say this. It's beautiful energy. Okay? So you may have some decisions to make. You may need to be discerning with your energy, but this is what you're, you're moving towards. You're moving out of this energy of full contentment, joy, happiness, um, creativity, entrepreneurship, healthy minded people. You're supposed to be in this truthful, healthy energy. And if this is where you're, this is what you're manifesting. This is what you're getting. Okay. Yes. Yes. Literally, you're going to be, you're not interested in the fake and phony. You're not interested. You're literally moving from an energy, trusting in spirit, God source, trusting in the information that you are receiving, trusting the energy. Okay. I see this energy here where you're going to be determining if people are really coming from a sincere place. Okay, you're going to be speaking to a lot of people. And I feel by you high vibrating in this energy, speaking your truth, um, seeking out answers, what should truly, what do I truly believe? What do I stand for? Okay, what is really going on out in this world? That inquisitive, high vibrational energy, you're going to be determining who's speaking to you and with a truthful tongue, who are the lower vibrational energies. And the way that you discern this and determine this is by listening to your intuition and trusting the spirit God source wants you to move forward and not be still, right? In a very balanced um, yin and yang energy. And anyone who is in alignment with that, you're bringing them with you or you are running into these people. It's like magnets, okay? Anyone that tries to keep you stuck, um, anyone who tries to contain you or restrain you or, you know, keep you contained in some shape, form or fashion, keep you bound to some sh shape, form or fashion. You're not dealing with that. It's almost like I feel six of wands, two of wands. That's about communication, fast communications, right? It's about eight of wands is about receiving communications, moving forward, um, etheric support, going in a high vibrational victorious way. I almost feel this energy as word is my bond. People who speak the truth, people who mean what they say. You're not putting up with the other stuff you used to deal with. And because you're in this high vibrational energy, I feel that you're a bit picky, but that's what standing in your truth is in a sense, right? It's not judging people too harshly or asking people to be perfect, but it is communicating Honestly, communicating in a high vibrational way, speaking the truth. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of people attracted to you, Aquarius, coming in your direction here. Okay. And so with Scorpio being here, again, you may have a Scorpio moon, Venus, or something like that, Jupiter, North Node, I'm not sure. But Scorpion energy is transformative. It literally digs, it digs deeper under the surface, unafraid to see the light and the dark unafraid um, of, you know, going through the energy of transformation as well. And I feel that you're going to be on a spiritual note. Let's see, what are your angels saying to you? Let's see, what are your angels saying to you, Aquarius? You know what, let's first bring out this deck and see what's going on. So we have emotion, emotional desert inactivity and isolation coming over here. So yeah, you've been through some things. You had to do some self-evaluation. Um, you had to look a little deeper. You had to have this quiet contemplation, okay? But you see, the sun is peeking out. You're being enlightened. You're being given back strength, courage. You're also, um, there's this energy here where I'm also feeling as though, You had to find your, your faith, your courage, and your strength to move past. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's your... You have been in hibernation waiting for Spirit God Source to give you direction. With the 11 number here, this is 
you know, for me as a reader, it's me versus me, you versus you. Really doing some shadow work also is what I'm getting from the energies that you have been surrounded by. It's almost like you've gone through some type of detox. Let's see. What's this over here, Holy Spirit, please? For Aquarius, what's this over here? Look at this. Goddess of dreams. This is definitely about your creativity, about being a seer. You can see the third eye chakra lit up with the brow um, energy right there. Uh, this is about your dreams, your goals, your desires, your visions, following your intuitive, intuitive nature and being very receptive to those who resonate with you, Aquarius. Then there's also this energy, and this is a number 27, breaking down to a seven. You have learned something about the past, and now you had a vision of the future and where you want to head after being isolated, after being in hermit mode, after being in this quiet contemplation. You've been given some information. You've been given a vision. You're following your intuition. Okay, it's really important for you to meditate and align with your guides. That's what's going to be happening in March. You're going to be led with the 42 breaking down to the six with prosperity. You're literally moving towards the sun. Like I said, the sun was peeking out here. You've been enlightened, but here it is. You're following the guidance of your guides, following your dreams, following your goals, standing in your truth, standing in your integrity, no matter who wants to be down with it or not. Some people may be walking away from you because they're no longer aligned. It's okay. Allow and accept it because you're running into abundance and success. Like I said, there's something about you having this vision of longevity, something that is going to be here long after it's the footprints in the sand, okay? It is something that is going to be coming from you. You've manifested this. You've been waiting, preserving your energy. Maybe you've been resting up, but some things have fallen by the wayside and you're ready to take off. You've gone through a transformation, death and rebirth. You just can't deal with certain things anymore. You just can't be with certain people anymore. You must walk through this portal. More discerning more receptive, moving towards success and abundance, gain, gaining this following, okay? Gaining this success that you've always wanted back here, all right? And it's something that's in your DNA. Six of Cups is here with the devil and the Two of Wands. You're making good progress. The actions that you take are going to manifest. And it's almost like you're a beast in whatever this product, whatever this service, whatever this writing, talking, scriptures, um, readings, um, music. It's, it's from you. It's from your DNA. And anyone who tries to stand between that is like your guides are going to give you directive and you're going to listen and move right past. You're going to just keep moving. A beautiful energy, Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. In the past, you went through this cleaning and this attunement. Yes. You've gone through some type of shadow work, Aquarius. Beautiful energy. Now let's bring out the angel deck and see what's going on and close this out for Aquarius. So this is just an overview, a peek at what may be going on with you in March. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes and shares, Aquarius. Also, um, be ready for the other videos to start uh, posting. As I mentioned this weekend, Libra and Capricorn will be added to the schedule. Okay. So let's see for Aquarius. Yeah, you have a new thing. I'm hearing that song by Chris Brown. We got a new flame. Something new flame with Chris Brown. That's what's happening here. The 10 of pentacles minus the nine is an ace of pentacles. There's brand new opportunities ushering in for you, Aquarius. Absolutely. Let's get some information, Holy Spirit, please, regarding this message for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius, Holy Spirit, please? Let's see for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno. We have this energy here of deeper insights are at hand. Yes, your overall plan is good, but the details needed work. So you're reflecting before you move forward. That's exactly what this is. Okay, a number eight. You're being 
rewired or redirected is not that your plan isn't um, attainable or sustainable. It's the energy here where your plan needed work because maybe you needed to save up money. Maybe you needed to be with people who would give and take. Okay. But there's a rebirth here. Some things had, something had to fall by the wayside, but you're still getting abundance and success. So some of you, something may have, you know, there's ebbs and flows. There may have been some kind of fluctuations with your money going from the 10 to the four here. Okay. For others of you, it's the reverse. You went from the four saving um, really holding on to your money, really trying to take control of your status when it comes to money and this business. But even if you have to pay out some stuff, it's also what I'm getting. Some of you, it's about money management. It's something about your business that you needed to find out more information. You weren't aware or you weren't privy to certain rules, regulations. Maybe it's taxes. Maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be taken care of. There's going to come to an end to that. That cycle is going to be taken care of so you can move in a way that is, there ain't no stopping you, okay? So again, deeper insights are ahead. That may have been what happened in the past for you. What else is here for Aquarius? Yeah, and you see all this blue throat chakra energy, but it's funny, it's also in her crown. So your spirit guides have been talking to you. You know that something is up. The high priestess is here. OK, you welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on its way to you. Have faith that source will heal your financial challenges. Absolutely, Aquarius. OK, you may have gone through some type of storm when it came to these um, things. OK, but again, bottom of the deck. Changes are ahead. I am here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunity. Some of you, you're getting a brand new job. OK, yes. And then there's confirmation here. But what these cards were saying, be real to who you are. Be the real you. Your greatest power comes from just being who you truly are. Don't allow anyone to sway you from expressing your authentic self. Amen. Yes. Beautiful energy. And this is what I have for you, Aquarius, for um, the overview of March. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, <laughs> please take care. Namaste.